Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to move files from subfolders to parent folder or you can say main folder or you can say root folder. Here in the screenshot, you can see left side we have a screenshot where we have a parent folder in that we have a multiple uh, subfolders and then we have a uh, files also in that and right side you can see we have a screenshot where we have only one parent folder and all those files which is showing in in the left side uh, subfolders all these files are now available in the root folder that is the invoices folder right so if you have a requirement where you have to uh, collect or you have to fetch all these files from the subfolders and you have to again move those files to the main folder then this video will help you to automate that one so before that if you have not subscribed my channel yet then please subscribe and please like this video so without any delay i am going to show you the demo and so here you can see this is the project folder and this is the invoice folder that we can say a root folder or parent folder in this i have two files and one folder two files that is xlsx and pdf files and one that is subfolder and which, sub, which, which is a part of parent folder of invoices now here in the in this subfolder i have two more subfolders and two files now again in the subfolders i have again one subfolders and one pdf files and in that subfolders again i have files so i i believe you are you know getting what i'm saying right so if you want to move all these files from all the subfolders to the root folder it means now you want to move all these things here and then you want to delete all the empty folders so in this I'm not only going to show you how to move files from subfolder to folder, but I'm also going to show you how to delete. Okay, so I already have some files available here, and here you can see in the UI Path Studio, I have already created that one, that project. So I'm just going to first show you the demo. Now click on here and click on Run, and you will see here it has extracted all the files from the subfolders and it has kept in this invoices parent folder and all the you know that subfolders with the empty folders like you can see all the empty folders now it has been deleted here and we are able to just see the files inside that invoices okay so now i'm going to show you how to do that so first let me delete that one so that i can show you phrase and let me delete these files and let me uh, take all these files from here and paste in the invoices so that I can show you that. So now again I already have all these things here. Now first what you need to do, first we need the root folder or you can say the parent folder right. So I will copy the path uh, up to this one where we have files available. So I have all these files or subfolders available inside this parent folder here, right? So I will just copy this one and let me take one assign activity so that I can initialize this. So take a variable control K and I can say this is a parent folder or like root folder. And here in the double quotation, I will just paste that, right? Now this is for the parent folder. now i need one more assign activity that is for i want to get all the files available in this folder so i will take here control k and i need all the files so files will be you know multiple files so i'm going to change type from string to array of string and here to get files from all the directory and subdirectory you know we have to write here directory dot get files 
recently i have uploaded one video regarding how you know how to get files so you can go through that and so here i have written directory dot get files now here we have to write path as a string so this is the parent folder where we have all the folders and files available here so i'm going to use this parent folder this variable as a string now comma and here you can see we have a search pattern as a string it means what type of files we want to get only so you know if you want to move all the files from the that subfolders so you have to write here in the double quotation star dot star it means with all the types of file now by this way what will happen we will just get all the files from this folder now i want to get files from this folder also and then this folder also let me just show you here if i have this one you know what will happen uh, let me take one for each so that i can show you what files i'm getting here only by using this one so for each and here i'm going to write for each file in files and change this type argument from object to a string and now just let me take one right line activity so that i can show you that what are the files that i'm getting is it showing all the files available in the subfolders also or or this is just showing only two files so let me just run that and see here in the output and you can see it is just showing two files one is that invoice pdf and second is it excel file right it means it is not giving us all the files available in the subfolders like these two this one right i'm just getting only two files now to get all the files from the subdirectories you have to go to this assign and click on this one directory dot get files parent folder comma your search option now again put here comma and then here you can see we have a search option as a search option so we'll write here search option this one dot once you will put here dot then we are getting all the things here like all directories equals format get name there are multiple you know objects we are getting here so from here we have to take this one search option dot all directories it means it will search from all the directories inside that parent folder now press ok now you can see let me run that so same time i will show you that what we are getting now in the output and you can see here we are getting all the files from the subfolders as well okay so if you just want to get files from the only that root folder there is no need to write last option that search option dot all directory but if you want to get files from all the subfolders you will use that now now we have all the files from subfolder now we need to move all these files to the root directory okay so i will take here move files this activity move file i will just take here let me delete this right line there is no need to use that and in the move file here we have two option from and to so from means which file you want to move so we are already getting one by one file in this variable file so i'm going to use this file here now to which folder you want to move so i want to move all the files from each subdirectories to this main directory this one so i already have assigned this one that is parent folder so i'll write here parent folder now one more thing i need to do here i need to select that override otherwise what will happen you know if i will not select that we'll be getting one error because these two files already available in the parent folder so if it will try to move these files again from this folder to the again root folder so we'll be getting error 
so we have to override this if these two files already available in this one no problem it will override that and it will take move all these files from here and move to this one right now once it will move all these files from this subfolders these subfolders will be now empty okay so by this way we will be just able to move files to root folder only now after that we need to delete all these empty folders because now once we will move all the files from subfolders to the root folder these folders will be now empty right so there no need to keep that folders that empty folders we have to delete that one so to delete those empty folders and like those subfolders again you know now again we are talking about we are going to delete all these empty subfolders so what we have to do we have to take one more assign activity and now this assign activity is for control k take a variable and write here directory and this directory will be again array of string because now this will have all the subfolders directories available here we have to write again directory dot on the top you have used directory dot get files now we'll be writing directory dot get directories open close bracket and then we need that path it means now we are going to collect all the directories available inside this root folder so it will give us one folder two folder three folder and then fourth folder like that and then it will give us okay so we'll be getting four folders here so we need to get all the folders here so here i need to write that path so what is the path that is parent folder is the path so from the parent from this folder it will give us all the folders name and then again we will take for each activity and for each folder we will put the name now this is folder change type to string and this will be directories because we are going to work on this array of a string this directory now here i need to write here delete and this delete is used to delete all the subfolders because now those are empty so now go to this path and in the path option we need to write only this folder which folder that we are getting from our for each so one by one it will receive it will delete receive and then delete so three files three to four folders that we have in, inside that root folder so those will be deleted so what we have done first we have collected all the files from the subfolders using this search option and using this expression and then we are in the loop we are moving all the files to the root folder and then here again we are collecting only directories not files only directories and then we are deleting that and now we are ready to run that so just click on this and run that file and go to the invoices and you see here all the files now available in this root folder and we have successfully deleted empty folders so by this way you will be able to move all the files from you know subfolders and from the like from the root folder also to any other folder also this is not about like you have to just move to the same existing root folder you can move all these files to the your any other location you just have to change your location here so i hope that will help you to work on directories folders and files that will help you to work on windows automations please like this video please subscribe this and please share with your friend so that they can also learn this one thank you so much guys thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for all your support thanks and bye